Hi everyone. Here we are going to discuss one of the most important derivation from the chapter chemical kinetics from your grade 12. It is the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. Let's see what is the integrated rate equation for first order reaction. In the part 1 video, we already discussed what is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. Here we are going to discuss about first order reaction. Alright, so it's a very important derivation. Here we need the help of or some integration, a small integration methods and we are finding what is the value of k. That is what, what do you mean by k? The rate constant, right? And also the half-life. Half-life means t half. And one graphical method also we are going to study in this video. All of you, let's start from the basic one. Let us consider a reactant. Reactant, you know, during a chemical reaction, the reactants are converted to what? The products, right? So reactants are converted to products. Now let's write the rate of a reaction. You may study that rate of a reaction you can express in different way, either in terms of reactant or in terms of products, right? Let me write the rate of the reaction in terms of the reactant that is minus dr divided by dt. Why minus? You know, during a chemical reaction, reactant concentrations are decreasing. That sign is mentioned by minus, okay, minus dr by dt. That is change in concentration of reactant with respect to time. That is the change in concentration, right? So, rate of the reaction is minus dr by dt is equal to what? What is the rate equation? That is equal to k. What is k? Rate constant into r to the power 1. Why dear all the power is 1 because you know it's a first order reaction you know what is mean by the order of a reaction what do you mean by order of a reaction it is a sum of the powers right it is a sum of the powers of the concentration term in a rate equation so all of you this is the major equation what is the rate of this reaction rate is equal to minus dr by dt that is equal to k into r to the power 1 now let me just rearrange okay to, to, to before integration let me just rearrange arrange this equation all of you listen carefully let me bring this r to the denominator all right let me bring this r to the denominator and dt to the right side so what this equation becomes dr by r is equal to minus k into dt all right dear all so let me go for the integration so let us integrate this equation so integral of dr by r is equal to minus k into integral of dt you know k is a constant right constant right so let me take it outside so integral of dr by r is equal to minus k into integral of dt now in order to do this and this integration we need the help of some common values common uh, equations from the which one integration listen all of you integral of dx by x is equal to ln x all of you, integral of dx by x is equal to what? ln x. Similarly, integral of dx is equal to what? x. What is the need of this equation here? All of you listen. Integral of dx by x is equal to ln x. Therefore, integral of dr by r is equal to ln r. Yes, minus k into integral of dx is equal to x therefore integral of dt is what t and after the integration you will get an integral constant right that is plus c so dear all after integration ln r is equal to minus kt plus c did you get the integral constant here c is the integral constant next our duty to find what is the value of c what is the value of integral constant for that let me assume that when time equal to zero, you know, dear all, what do you mean by time equal to zero? Time zero means we are going to start the reaction, yes or no? When time equal to zero, we are going to start the reaction. When you start the reaction, when you're starting a reaction, what do you have initially? What you have initially? Only the initial concentration of the reactant. Yes or no? When you're starting a chemical reaction, you have the initial concentration of reactant. That let me express by the letter R0. R0 is the initial concentration of the reactant. See all of you, when time equal to 0, what is the concentration of R? That is R0. Means when you're starting a chemical reaction, you have only the initial concentration of the reactant. Clear all of you? If so, 
just apply time 0 and r equal to r naught in the integrated equation. What it become dear all? ln r naught. So no, r become r naught. ln r naught is equal to t0, right? So okay, t0, that's equal to c. So we calculated the value of integral constant c. What is that? ln r naught. After finding what is the value of c, we have to substitute in the integral equation. So here I am going to substitute the value of c here. So what the equation becomes dear all? This equation equation becomes ln r is equal to minus kt plus what is the value of c just we found now ln r naught clear all this is our integrated equation now dear all this is in the format of a straight line this equation is in the format of a straight line what is the equation uh, for the straight line you know y is equal to mx plus c right y axis ln r x axis the time and m what do you mean by m right what is the meaning of m in a straight line equation that is a slope of the line right so y axis we are plotting ln r and x axis we are writing time and slope is minus k and the y intercept what you see here here c is what y intercept that is ln r naught dear all let's go for the graph graph is a very important part so graph is ready let me place what is on x axis and y axis we already said what is on x and y axis right where ln r is on y axis and time on x axis yes dear all time is x axis which one ln r is on the y axis yes dear all and what is the nature of the line you know the slope of the line m is minus k well, it's a negative slope dear all so the nature of the line should be this one it's a negative slope you know positive slope means the other way now what is the slope of the line it's an ex exam question okay what is the slope of the line in the first order reaction the graphical method that is minus k and what is c what is c here we already said where c is the y intercept where c is the y intercept where is y intercept this distance right this distance is called ln r naught so dear all, it is possible to calculate the k value through the slope. Yes. Now let's go for that. This equation, let me rearrange. Okay. Why we are doing this uh, first order integrated equation to get the value of two things. One is k. What is k? Rate constant. Other one is t half. What is t half? Half life. Careful. Let me just rearrange this equation, dear all. Let me bring kt to the left side. Okay. Kt is equal to ln r naught minus ln r. All right. From this equation, what is the expression for k? Let me bring time to the right side. So it is equal to k is equal to 1 by t into ln r naught divided by r. What is r naught dear all? The initial concentration of the reactant. And what is r? Is the final concentration or a concentration at a time t. So k is equal to, this is the expression you should remember dear all. This is the expression is important for the numerical. k is equal to 1 by t into ln r naught divided by r. Next, I am going to calculate what is the half-life equation, T half equation for the first order reaction. Listen all of you. For that, let me consider one another data. Before that, this is in ln, right? Normally, we are doing log, right? Log. So, let me convert ln into log by multiplying by 2.303. So, the equation becomes k is equal to 2.303 divided by t into log of r0 divided by r. This is our final equation for what? The rate constant k for a first order reaction. Hope you're clear. Now, let me go for the half-life calculation. In order to get half-life, what do you mean by half-life? It is a time taken for an object to reduce it it's half of the initial amount right so let me consider dear all when time equal to t half time equal to t half means what is the concentration left in the system can you tell me r becomes r naught by 2 why when time equal to t half t half means half life of the substance when time becomes t half what happened here all when time become t half the concentration what is left in the concentration initial concentration divided by 2 means it's half what is the half life mean is the time taken for an object to reduce its half of the initial amount so at a time equal to t half what is left to the concentration r is equal to initial concentration by 2 let me substitute time equal to t half and r equal to r naught by 2 in this above equation so dear all what the equation becomes k is equal to 
2.303 by t instead of t what we want to write here t half into log of r naught this r naught okay this r naught is already there r naught r naught divided by instead of this r what we want to write r naught by 2 so log of r naught by r naught by 2 so dear all this r naught r naught cancel and 2 come to the numerator so it will be log 2 log 2 so while simplifying all of you k is equal to 2.303 divided by t half into log 2 what is log 2 value dear all it's a constant 0 0.3010 it's 0 0.3010 now one more calculation 2.303 into 0 0.3010 that is equal to one another constant that is 0 0.693 0 0.693 divided by t half the, from that equation what is half life where t half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k that is our final equation so dear all this is the integrated rate equation for first order reaction from the chapter chemical kinetics what is our major purpose three things to calculate the value of k what is k rate constant what is expression for k that is 2.303 by t into log of ln log r naught divided by r that is the major equation Second, what is the ex expression for the half-life of first order reaction? T half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by K. That means if you know the value of rate constant, you can able to calculate the half-life. Yes or no? Yes or no? And the graphical expression is important here all. What is on x-axis? Time. What is on y-axis? L and R. What is the slope of the line? Minus K. What is the y-intercept? That is L and R naught. So this is the integrated rate equation for first order. Hope you clear the idea. Thank you all. Bye.